Before we start the video, I just want to say a quick RIP to Mob Deep artist and hip hop legend Prodigy. All right, so I'm back here to basically give y'all like my top five albums of the year so far. I mean, shit, we're in June and we're like halfway through the year. A lot of shit didn't drop, so I feel like I got a lot of stuff to pick from. And also, I got my homeboy right here, Jamal. He's basically gonna give his list for his like top five albums that he, you know what I'm saying, that he feel like been the best so far. So without further ado, man, we finna get into it. All right, so to start my list off at number five, I got Drake's More Life. Now, a lot of people have been like, oh man, this might be Drake's worst project. Honestly, coming off views, this is his, like, to me, this is one of his uh, best projects. And a lot of people like, why? Cause I like, I mean, on this project, he's very versatile. You got every side of Drake. I mean, you got the, you got the Caribbean Drake or whatever. You got lyrical Drake when you want to be. You got the braggadocious Drake, you know what I'm saying? And you, you basically get every form of Drake. And like, far as it being a playlist or whatever, it, to me, this is not a playlist. I still sit by what I say, man, this is a fucking album. You do not sell no playlist to nobody, but that's just me. So number five is Drake's More Life. All right, number five for me, five, five fingers, would be Smino's Black Swan. And the reason why I put Smino in there, you know, honestly, up until 2017, I really didn't, you know, listen to him. Actually, I had no knowledge of him existing. I hate to say it. I wish I did know he existed because he's actually a pretty good artist. I still ain't listened to him yet. Hey, he's actually pretty good. He's a very smooth young man. Like, honestly. I'm gonna give him a chance when you You gotta give him a chance. Like, if you was to let it ride all the way through, it's that type of album. Like, honestly. So, at number four, I got Scissors Control. Now, honestly, when I was making this list, I was thinking to myself, you know, damn, this might be a little too early for me to put this on there because the CD came out like two weeks ago. But I've been li I've been literally like bumping this shit nonstop. I like the duration she she went with this album. She's real open with it and like she just, you know what I'm saying? She's just real vulnerable and she talks about everything. She just let everything loose and like she's not holding anything back. And I actually wrote a review on this shit and everything. So I'ma just drop that link in the description for that. Please be sure to go check that out. But yeah, man, number f number four, Sizzle, Control. She has a very a very amazing voice. Man, that's you should man. That's one of them CDs you do drugs to for real. I'm, I'm just being honest. Hey, I actually know somebody that didn't like actually like you know got it in to that. Oh, for real? Yeah, like <sighs> so she 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 doing her thing. You feel me? Man. You got people already making you know. Knocking boots to it already, so you. you I mean, something. you actually could knock boots to that damn CD. My favorite song on that mug is uh, what is the weekend and the song with Isaiah Rashad, Pretty Little Bird. So yeah, but as a whole, I love the whole CD. Even the prom song that I said I ain't like at first. That shit eventually grew on me, and I can just bump that CD all the way through. So that, yeah, that's when you know you got something good. When, oh yeah, when, when it can grow on you. It's like, cause a lot of times if you got a piece of work and it can't grow on you, I mean, what you... You can't, exactly, exactly. Yeah, got All right, so my number four, four is Playboy Cardi by Playboy Cardi. That ain't even a bad choice. The reason why I gave Playboy Cardi number four is because, okay, he dropped it at the right time. I, I bullshit you not. He picked the right time to drop Playboy Card. The summer. Summer hits. I'm talking about full of hits. Summer hits. You got it from number nine to everybody's favorite, Magnolia. Magnolia is doing what? stupid. It's going stupid. Like, everybody is loving this song. And I have no no reason to disagree with them for liking that song. It's he, a very dropped, nice song. he dropped that shit like the week before spring break. I remember that shit, and we were bumping that shit like all, we were bumping that shit like all damn week, but that shit, that ain't no bad choice at all. Yeah, like, I mean, I honestly don't see it getting old no time soon. I mean, like everything, it might get old. Eventually. But I don't see it no time soon. I feel like it's going to go all the way to like the first semester of college for the people that are in college. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you, you going to come back to school, those come back to school parties are going to be full of Playboy Cardi, and y'all gonna be going 
crazy in the party. Alright, so my number three is Steve Lacey's The Steve Lacey Demo. Honestly, man, this shit was like at the top of my list for the longest, man. My only thing, the only thing that I have, like, only thing I had against this CD was that it was fucking 16 minutes and only had six songs on it. If y'all know who Steve Lacey is, he's, I think he's like the drummer or whatever for uh, Odd Futures on um, the internet. He's part of that group or whatever. And he's basically one of the people that, like, he curated the sound for the internet's ego death tape. And basically, like, I've been reading up on him or whatever. I've been watching, like, little videos. He actually made that entire demo off the fucking iPhone. What the uh, app called? The Garage Band app. He made that entire CD off the damn Garage Band app. And, like, far as, far as, like, how the CD sound, like, it's like some, lo it's like a bunch of love songs for real. He got this Pharrell kind of vibe. And, like, I don't know, man. Dude just, dude just good on the instr instruments, man. That shit was, like, number one on my list for the longest, but... It's just, I can't deal with them damn 16, so I can't deal with them, them 16 minutes, bro. And it was like, bro, I, I need more. But Steve Lacey, Steve Lacey demo. Hold on, so you telling me he did all this off of the iPhone? And then he did all this, he did all this shit off of iPhone. Like, you gotta go watch that junk. Like, dude, like, dude, 18 years old, he stays in Compton, he got his own house and everything. And, like, he basically, he sat in the studio and made all this shit off of damn iPhone. He basically uh, took something and hooked it up to his damn guitar and like, which honestly it ain't really hard to do for real. But I just I don't have the music I don't have the musical talent like him. But yeah, he made that shit off an of iPhone and that's like I honestly that's one of the reasons that shit was like high as fuck on my list at first because that nigga that that shit was amazing to me for real. I'm like dude, 18 years old and he basically like just made one of my favorite albums of the year off a of fucking iPhone. I want to be like him when I grew up. Bro, I'm gonna say, give that shit a chance, bro. That nigga sound like a new age for real. Like, is it kind of like how Donnie Trump did? Yeah. Kind of like how, yeah, kind of like how Donnie Trump did, but I, I think I actually like this better than Donnie Trump. Which, by the way, our future, well, not our future, but the internet, like, three other people didn't drop their own CDs, which, you know, the Drum Core Theory by Matt Martians and um, Fed, Fan by Sid. Them some good CDs too, which them actually made it to my honorable mentions, but we're gonna get to that later. So yeah. Number three. And I feel like a lot of people slept on this one. And I really don't I don't really too much blame y'all because, you know, not so many people bang with these boys. Alright, number three is Step Brothers 3 by Starlito and Don Trip. I mean, it was a very anticipated a um, piece of work for me because I really do bang with Starlito and Don Trip together. You know what I'm saying? They are, I mean, to me, they up there as far as the duos in the rap game. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they work together so perfectly. Like, they are poetry in motion when they get into the studio together. But I feel like, honestly, by them not having, like, that mainstream appeal like they should, they kind of, like, holds them back from being, like, one of the best hip-hop duos of all time. Because, honestly, when them two rap together, like, they... I'm not trying to compare them to Outkast because they don't have like that sound that Outkast got. But far as having like that damn chemistry and just like working together, them dudes are damn not unmatched for real. But yeah, I, that's not a bad. That's not a bad pick. That's not a bad pick. Um, you, li you listen? Uh, yeah, I listen to. I listen to it. I but I know it, it kind of like went to the wayside because like yeah, because other stuff been other stuff been coming and like I just been trying to I've been trying to get to everything like. I don't know, but Step Brothers 3, it is a nice mixtape, and I need to, like, pay more attention to it. I didn't listen to it once, for real, but it, it, it was good. It was great. I'm already good. All right, so my number two on this list, which this is probably the most slept-on CD of 2017 so far, <laughs> Jig's The Never Story. Like, for real, this shit is the most slept-on CD all year like this shit was like literally number one like i actually i didn't got into arguments with folks shit i got into an argument with you on twitter between this cd and my damn number one cd but yo man jen's the never story what i like about this he's new he's fresh he's like he's from atlanta but he doesn't have that trap he doesn't have, he has a trap vibe but he's not on no trap shit and like his beats or I don't know. He like I've been like I uh, watched one of his interviews or whatever. He basically said, you know, he like the um 
he like northern rappers. He he's into southern rappers, but he love like northern rap and how how they basically how they do anything, do everything. Like if you listen to his beats, you can hit it. You can hit it shit from like songs with uh they had with Earth Gang like Division. That sounds like an up north beat, which um J Cole I think J Cole produced that, and the song at the very end called Lauder. J Cole produced that too. That sounds like an up north beat. And then he's very versatile as far as like making, he can make love songs. He can make, well, he can make love songs. Basically what I'm saying is like the nigga can sing too. Cause he got, he got, uh, what's the name of the song? All That. That sound like a damn slow jam, but it's basically like a damn breakup song. And I, I love it. I love it. And I think that's like one of my favorite songs on the CD. It's either that or Division, which this, this how you know a CD is good when every time you listen to it, your damn favorite song change, but Jizz, the Never Story. That's my number two. All right, well, number two is Damn by Kendrick Lamar. Ooh. Um, it was a really hard decision, you know what I'm saying? Because based upon what my number one is, which you already know what my number one is, I mean, they up the, the, to me, they are unmatched. For the, for the year 2017, they are unmatched. I mean, as far as hip hop goes, like they really, I really, I really see. We gon' we gon' wait, we gon' wait to number one. But damn, I mean, I really was fucking with it. Obviously, I'm a I'm a, I'm a Kendrick Lamar fan, not as much as him, but you know what I'm yeah, saying. I'm damn near a Kendrick Lamar stand, but shit, yo. Yeah, I mean, but I really like I really like the flow that he brings. You know, he's a a very good lyricist. I mean, he's a conscious rapper, you know what I'm saying? He actually said, I mean, he tells a story in every song that he puts out. And this piece of work was no different. I mean, all the way down. And I'm the type of person that I'm not no hype beast in any type of way. So for any songs that were singles, I'm not really too fond of. But I mean, so I actually liked the single that he had. So Humble, I mean, I, I don't, hey. Mm. Okay. All right, so before we get into these number ones, we basically, basically gonna drop like our honorable mentions. So here they go. All right, so my number one for my list or whatever for best albums of 2017 so far, y'all already know, bro. Kendrick Lamar's damn. Which, I have already said this, man. I didn't got into arguments on Twitter as far as, like, debating which one was better out of Jizz, The Never Story, and Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar CD or whatever. But, I don't know. The thing to me that, like, placed it over the top, I felt like Kendrick Lamar had more of a, con I feel like Kendrick Lamar had a better, like, um, what is it, concept for his album? Because, like, you listen to it going forward, he basically talks, he basically talk, talks about living through, um, Weakness and then listening to it backwards, backwards he talks about living through all uh, weakness and then as far as like the production on the CD I honestly feel like this might be his best produced CD Because it's very versatile like kind of like I'm not trying to compare it to more life But it's like to me you got every version of Kendrick you got of course you, you gonna get political Kendrick You don't get singing Kendrick and stuff and like you gonna get rapidly rap Kendrick which honestly that's what that's the Kendrick everybody been missing for a long time, which everybody gonna say, oh damn, he was rapping on, you know, he was rapping on Good Kid, Mad City. I'm like, he he was rapping on that, but at the same time, he was telling, he was trying to tell a story at the same time, which he's not. I ain't gonna say he was, he was sort of telling a story on him, but I don't know. I feel like with with damn, he was basically trying to like get like his viewpoint of life, far as like at the age he's at right now. Far as my favorite songs on that, my favorite song would have to be probably Lust. Or fear, lust, which I said in the I said in the prior video, basically lust was like, I don't know, I felt like, as far as the beat wise, it sounded like some outcast shit, in which some people in the comment sessions got kind of mad because I said I felt like lust deserved the damn Andre 3000 verse, which I still stand by that today. But I mean, the song is good. Where is that? If they ever decide to do a damn remix to Lust or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They, shit, throw my boy Andre on that. Which I always wondered, I would love to hear Kendrick Lamar and damn Andre 3000 on the damn song anyway. But damn, shh, that's my number one. 
And far as like if it's his best album, ooh, that is a that is a topic for another day. And I'm and I really want to get into that. But yeah, number one, Kendrick Lamar, damn. Hey, I'm glad you said that. I'm so glad that you said that because I mean I had never thought about that, but them two. Kendrick Lamar with Andre 3000. That's that would a be fire, that's a fire ass combination. That I'm ta- it's crazy because I actually heard a song in my head with them both on it, like with a little smooth little beat. Yeah, and he rapping over. Then Andre 3000 come in. Andre that's why, man. I was listening to that shit. I was listening to that shit. I'm like, bro, this I, man. It was Andre 3000 just popped up on that song. Lust. I wouldn't even be. I wouldn't even been surprised. Like I would have been happy as fuck. That's like my dream. That's like my dream collaboration. Them two, they ain't got made no whole project. Just give me one song with Andre and Kendrick. That's all I want. Because when honestly, when Kendrick first came out, everybody was folks was kind of comparing him to like Andre 3000. I mean, and he's lyrical. I mean, he can harmonize a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Andre 3000. We know that nigga can sing. But yeah, man. And then folks, you know, they Andre 3000 already regarded as like you know one of the greatest rappers of all time. And which before, which I'm gonna say this too. Damn. This CD honestly made me put like Kendrick Lamar as like the GOAT, as the greatest of all time, which a lot of people don't believe that, but that's just me. Dude's been consistent as far as dropping projects. He's been, I don't know, he's four for four basically with dropping projects. I don't know if y'all want to count Untitled because that was basically a bunch of like unreleased shit or whatever, but I mean, you can if you want to, but I'm just counting Section 80. Good Kid, Mad City. Shit, we can count Overly Dedicated, too, because that shit was live also, but Section 80, Good Kid, Mad City, To Pimple Butterfly is honestly, to me, one of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time, and damn, so he's been consistent, like, he's 4 for 4, and that basically puts him at the greatest of all time for me, but ah, that's another argument for another day, but yeah. Ah, here's no miss. All right, so for my number one, it's his number two. And like he said earlier, we had a whole little discussion about this on Twitter. I mean, honestly, after just like thinking about it, it's like, I mean, we we have our opinions. I mean, to me, honestly, now that I think about it, I mean, they're pretty much on the same line. It all depends on what you're yeah. feeling. It all, yep. it all it depends, depends on, on what, what you're feeling. feeling. You know what I'm saying? Because Jigs, The Never Story, which is my number one, I mean, honestly, I can ride. I can. I, I like music that I can ride in the car to. You know what I'm saying? And with that, I can bump that in the car, and I don't mind anybody hearing any song on the. You know, yeah. like the same with down. I don't mind. I'm, honestly, you got a lot of hype beats now that they trying to hop on the Kendrick Lamar wagon, and especially with them playing one of his single playing his on single, the radio. Yeah, playing his single on the NBA Finals. It's like, man, now it's finna get even worse. Honestly, how how did I take the two albums at first? I don't know. I took it as if like everybody, okay. Basically why I put why I had Jid ahead of Kendrick Lamar at first, cause it was like this shit like it's fresh. It's somebody new. He's doing something different. He still which I still kinda feel like he gotta find his sound a little bit. Cause he kinda remind me of some other rappers, but at least he's very very uh versatile with it. But it's like when I was comparing it to damn what made me go ahead and put damn over the top, it was like, basically, it's like, folks have come to expect Kendrick to, you know what I'm saying, to do, to be great. Folks have come to expect this shit. But it's like, with Jed hearing something new, and I'm like, then this dude from Atlanta, then he signed to J. Cole, and his album is good, this nigga got lyrics and everything. That kind of had me, that kind of made me put him over the top, but then I started listening to him a little bit more, and I just gravitated more toward, more so towards uh, Damn than the Never Story, but I don't know, man. That's just me, which I which I said, which I didn't say this shit plenty of times. These two albums are like low key interchangeable for me. And then another thing for us, like Jed, he kind of uh, J- just the little group that he in the um, the Spillage Village group. They low key remind me of the damn uh, the Dungeon Family. Basically, they had uh, the Atlanta group. They had Outkast, Goody Mob. Yeah, folks like that, but they kind of remind me of like a new age version of them because you got folks that's in that group that's very versatile, sing, rap, make their own beats, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I said Spillage Village kind of remind me of the damn Dungeon Family, but 
Yeah, man. Hey, I'm glad that you had brought up that song, Division, because that was honestly, when I first heard it, was my I, favorite song, because I'm the type that I, I like all types of music, you know, like yeah. like you are. And I mean, like, I even like old school music. I'm starting to even listen to classic rock now, because if I hear somebody say that they like it, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. But the reason that I like Division so much is because I actually started back listening to A Tribe Called Quest. And that shit, do, that shit boys, do sound like some Tribe Called Quest. It sound like a song by a Tribe Called Quest all the way up and down. If, if y'all don't give the album a listen, at least give that song a listen. Please. Man, fuck that. Get an album a, get Give Jizz album a listen, bro. That's that's a good ass CD, man. I don't, if, you, if you like hip hop, Go listen to that. Exactly. And he kind of got the new age feel too. Like, I ain't gonna say like the mumble rap feel, but it's like, okay, okay. Basically, it's like he kind of got like a little mumble rap in it, but it's like he got his own twist to it. And he actually sound, you know, he sound, he doesn't sound bad. That nigga sounds great. But man, that just. It's like, it's like he can I, rap like somebody back in the day, but he, you can tell that he is from art, art time. Exactly. And then as far as like comparing him, I don't know. At one point, I, I had got Vince Staples, which I, and then the second person I had was Anderson Peck. I, because they're rapping, singing shit, and then it was like, if you listen to them side by side, they do kind of sound alike, and shit, Kendrick. I, I was comparing him to Kendrick, too, as far as, you know, how they sound and shit, but that's just, I mean, that's just me. I don't know. A lot of people get offended when you can when you compare folks to Kendrick, but shit, that's just me. I don't care. But, yeah, man. Like, that's our list, you know. Please like, subscribe, comment to the channel or whatever. I'm going to throw his Twitter name in there. You already know I'm going to throw mine in there, too. Please follow us or whatever because we stay tweeting about music. Of not, we just tweeting about other stupid shit or whatever. But, yeah, though, please like, subscribe, comment, man. Oh, by the way, if I ain't been like if I ain't been responding to y'all uh, comments or whatever, I know some of y'all it, it do this YouTube do this little thing where I gotta go in and like approve comments and shit. So if like if I ain't responded to you yet, I just ain't had a chance to go in and approve everything. And by the way, I'm sorry because that I ain't made a video in a couple days. I ain't even gonna lie, I got kind of lazy because it's storming real bad where I'm from. So yeah, man. Yes. But like I said, one more time, please like, subscribe, comment. Or whatever, let me know how y'all feel. Drop y'all list for his favorite albums and like oh hit that notification bell so y'all can get um so I can get a notification there every time I throw a video up. But yeah man, this is T and Doug. Thank you.